Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jess and thank you so much for watching this video. So I wanted to put a video out that can better explain interpretation of messages and different perspectives that we all have when it comes to the information and knowledge that comes through anything, whether it's from my channel or from others or whatever research you're doing, but more specifically, um, the information that comes out of my videos because I do bring forward information in like this word-for-word -word type way from the guides that I channel and I understand how sometimes the interpretation can get a bit overwhelming or confusing for some people so I just wanted to clarify some things. Um, I'm going to bring in the guides response to this whole issue of confusion of interpretation and stuff like that in a little bit, but I first wanted to quickly say a few things. So when it comes to the New Earth, Ascension, 3D, 4D, 5D, etc., all of that information, we have to understand that we are, we're dealing with something that is beyond space and time. This is a huge energetic wave of events that are happening on an individual, collective, planetary, galactic, universal scale. And we, as these human beings, cannot even begin to comprehend or pinpoint exactly what the heck is happening. And this is also where, you know, the puzzle pieces, your intuition and your resonance comes in handy because it's up to you to do your own research and put together the puzzle pieces that fit best with whatever resonates with you and your own inner knowledge. The guides keep saying that we all hold the information within us, we just have to tap into it. And in order to tap into it, we have to do the work to raise our vibration, we have to do the work to raise our um, energy and frequency in order to be in the place energetically and emotionally to be able to tap into it. So when we talk about the New Earth, Ascension, 5D, etc., we're talking about things happening on many different levels within the consciousness, physical, spiritual, emotional, etc., etc., etc. It's definitely hard to explain these bigger concepts to the average person who can't necessarily see or sense anything beyond the 3D linear time-space reality that they exist in um, within their own personal experience. And because we all see the 3D linear time-space reality, it does make it hard for me and for many others to interpret for you guys just exactly what the guides are putting through. But I really do my best and I try to keep everything open-minded. I try to leave everything open to interpretation on your end as well. So a lot of information comes through in knowing, in blocks of information. So like um, it comes in word for word and then it forms these blocks of, of information that I present to you. But information is also rounded out through visions and symbols and also, you know, the funny anecdotes. I also realized that a lot of the interpretation has to do with my own individual awareness. It's like they can't show me an apple or talk to me about an apple if I don't know what an apple is, let alone if I don't know what fruit is. I would have no idea how to interpret it. And my interpretation would be completely different from someone else who may be in the same place as me or may, or may know more than what I know in regards to what an apple or fruit is. But I think that the information that comes out is also really meant for you as the listener to interpret in a way that best resonates for you. So again, the guides speak a lot with anecdotes, analogies, metaphors, references, symbols, um, that type of thing. And it's because you can jam pack a lot more information in these one or two words or in a symbol than you could trying to explain something, if that makes sense. Because um, 
it leaves it open to interpretation and it leaves it open for you to download that bigger piece of information. So for example, when they use the words like Guilford Island or Gin Rummy or Ace, etc., it holds a deeper meaning. And it's, again, it's open to interpretation because we as human beings take things so literally. So if they try to explain things, it's like we'll get hooked on to that explanation and get stuck on that literal meaning of whatever the words come out. And so keep in mind that when information comes through, it shouldn't be taken so literally and it should be open to your own personal interpretation. And this also helps you to hone your intuition. It helps you to hone your inner knowing. So for example, I'm sensitive to a lot of food. And one time after I ate something, the guides immediately told me not to continue eating it because they could sense this cinder block in my digestive system after I ate it. And I asked them to explain, like, what do you mean, cinder block? And they said that they weren't quite sure what it was, but they could only sense this cinder block type of energy blockage in response to me eating the food. The interpretation is that something in my stomach or digestion or intestines or whatever did not agree with what I had just eaten. So it doesn't mean that I literally had a cinder block in my stomach, but it allows me to grasp the information of what they were trying to tell me. So the guides talk a lot in this way and I have to interpret what they mean. Like for that one word cinder block, again, it holds so much more information within it. It also gives the information room to breathe. Like by saying there's a cinder block energy, it doesn't pinpoint it to a specific organ or exactly what's happening when I eat the food. They're reading the energy of the general area. They're reading that bigger picture energy. So we're all experiencing our ascension as differently and as uniquely as we each are. So this is why it's so important for us to follow our own inner knowing. But it's also important to keep in mind that when you are on your inner journey of ascension and raising your consciousness, you have to be prepared for more questions than answers. It's so easy to get so caught up in trying to put the puzzle pieces together and trying to get all your puzzle pieces that people sometimes forget to do the most important thing that is needed in order to further grow inward and raise your consciousness in the first place, which is to just enjoy life, to chill out and relax, to open your heart and have more wholehearted fun. And also like really trying to get your emotional state in a place of higher frequency so that you're resonating and um, vibrating at a higher frequency. And again, this is where the whole enjoying your life and having more fun comes into play because that will help to raise your frequency and vibration. And at the same time, doing the work in order to heal any inward wounds that need to be healed, whether it's emotional, spiritual, mental, physical, whatever needs to be healed for you. And that will then further you along in helping you to vibrate at a higher frequency. And I'm going to share with you something that the guides wanted me to share with you regarding interpretation of 5D New Earth information. It's a bit long, but hopefully it helps you. So the guides say, Opening mind to making slice out of pie will not get you anywhere. Guilford Island or New Earth bliss and joy for those who make pie out of slice. Filling in blanks has a downfall fills you up with more blanks. Knowledge comes from within. Do not gin rummy on knowledge outside of you, meaning don't put all your eggs in your basket with the knowledge that comes from outside of you. Connect to information, but do not connect so deeply that you cannot see the wood beneath the trees. Calm your mind, and definitely ace knowledge will flow to you from within. People are always trying to figure things out. By not trying so hard, the answers that resonate with you come much entirely, certainly, definitely quickly. Open mind for information to flow easier for you. 
Ponty material does not have to be stretched or forced and muted to open. Let mind naturally open, and information will flow naturally, generating the brain or intellect to be stimulated. Guilford Island manifesting now, folks. We, the guides, are in the reality of oneness, and Jess is in oneness frequency. Many people generate duality frequency, Jess in oneness frequency. Definitely oneness in the collective or people's energy coming real soon. Definitely real soon. Knowledge about illusion of new earth in Jess's awareness. Jess keeps open mind always, and by doing so, she is able to filter knowledge from 5D new earth into 3D and 4D earth realities, opening minds of others and Guilford Island knowledge for another Guilford Island member to integrate into awareness. Efficiently, people forget to love life. Efficiently, people do not just have fun in the face of uncertainty. Oneness means simply ending, if only ending, idea of separation, knowing that all is Jin Rummy connected, and integrating moments of present. People unable to stay in present moment efficiently because always thinking about the past or future, cannot see the wood beyond the trees. We, the guides, love that saying because seeing the wood beyond the trees means night watch. Surely Jin Rummy on night watch. I'm like, what does that mean? What are you getting at? And they said, it means we're, the guides, are not sensing, definitely not sensing that people have night vision eyes, sensual amateur vision only. So basically they're just poking fun at this saying of seeing the wood beneath the trees. They then go on to talk about interpreting the information um, that comes from them. They said, interpretation of information from the guides in alignment with where you are vibrationally. Messages Jess offers in videos entirely correct for her. Information integrated on a much deeper level, not surface level. Jess insists on knowledge from oneness. Many people insist on knowledge from duality. Guilford Island knowledge for everyone, but you have to be able to be open to receiving it, not analyzing it. Ends up in Guilford Island penitentiary instead. <laughs> Another joke. Because there's simply no way that you can ever grasp or make sense of information regarding this whole ascension process. Because literally trying to make sense of everything is gonna, it's gonna drive you nuts. Uh, so the guides go on to say, Jess is able to find common ground between overwhelming New Earth information and 3D people awareness. People's illusion of separation will go where the wild things are. Another joke. People's illusion of separation will go North Pole in winter, fleeing warmth of knowledge of New Earth oneness. They're basically saying that as you integrate and are open to more 5D New Earth knowledge, your ideas and beliefs about separation, these illu this illusion of separation, is going to fly out the window. And you'll begin to see the bigger picture. You'll see the oneness and the connectedness in everything. They go on to say, Joy and life protects your knowledge. Joy acts as a phone between you and illusion or belief of 5D Earth. Ace open-minded people able to definitely expand mind enough to accept knowledge about New Earth illusion or the belief of New Earth and the Nike oneness frequency. The Nike, I was like, do you mean like top of the top, you know, like Nike brand? And they're like, yes. <laughs> so the top of the top oneness frequency. Uh, they go on to say manifestation of illusion or belief of New Earth loses definite glory and steam in loss of joy and wonder. Keep this in mind. Again, manifestation of the illusion or the belief of new earth loses definite glory and steam in loss of joy and wonder. They're trying to tell us to keep more joy in our lives, cultivate more joy, because it's this joy and blissful feeling that's going to propel us into the new earth. It's not about 
you know, getting stuck on the details. It's not about trying to make sense of things. It's just about focusing on joy. They go on to say illusion or the belief of new earth, lost knowledge or lost energy goes into black hole, makes cinder block of energy, magnet portal of energy for other non-energetically aligned people. I think this means like any energy that steps away from the belief of new earth. So it's like people who don't believe in new earth or 5D or ascension, it's like that energy goes into this black hole. It makes this like blockage of energy and that just creates like this magnet, a portal of energy that attracts other non-energetically aligned people. So it's like the law of attraction. You are attracting whatever or wherever you are at vibrationally. If you're going to be in the non-energetically aligned, if you're going to not believe in new earth or 5D, then you're going to kind of get sucked into that blockage of energy. And and the information that you gather is just going to be more and more information that kind of cultivates your blockage of energy and the idea of the new earth not existing versus people who are open and aware and open to integrating the energy of new earth and 5d and ascension the information that they gather is going to keep opening them up to receiving more new earth energy and more ascension energy and opening their energy versus blocking their energy illusion of the guides is open for interpretation for greater awareness only Guilford island not for everyone and that is fine Energy of people must align to the energy of the guides in order to align with the messages that are coming through. So basically what they're saying is that the messages that are coming through are open to interpretation, like I was saying. And also um, in terms of aligning to the messages, it is all about resonance. So if you find yourself resonating with the messages, then you are resonating with the energy that is coming through. If you do not resonate with the messages, then you are just not resonating with the energy that's coming through. It's as simple as that. I hope the information that has come through has helped you in some way, and thank you so much for watching. With love and gratitude, I'll see you in the next video.